out to two megastars. Terrence Crawford's not a megastar. He's a big boxing fan, a big boxing star, but not like you bring Pacquiao bringing people, Mayweather brought in people, Arrow brought in people. Terrence Crawford's not bringing in those type of people. I think Pacquiao would be kind of like how Floyd and, you know, the Floyd and De La Hoya fight where, you know, after he fought De La Hoya, he became like his own, you know, megastar, you know, so I... Okay, this is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I was letting you guys listen to a segment of an interview uh, concerning Errol Spence and <clears throat> his trainer. Okay, now, um, Mr. Derek James, he started talking, the same rhetoric, but he added, oh, well, Terrence Crawford is a very good fighter, but he doesn't bring in the revenue, you know, and he compared his fighter, oh, you know, Spence brings in the re revenue. No, Spence doesn't bring in the revenue, okay? Mikey Garcia brought in the revenue. He piggybacked off that because he knew he, they would get the, the, the Mexican fan base, okay? And yet again, he is regurgitating something that he's already said and trying to make it stick to different interviewers like Fight Hub TV, you know, Fight Hype. And it's one of those things where you can avoid a fighter, you you know, and he's trying to be like, oh, fight De La Hoya, and or like Floyd fighting De La Hoya, but he doesn't understand what Floyd did to be at that point for fighting De La Hoya. He had to fight a lot of people before he fought De La Hoya. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather did exactly what he needed to do. They weren't. They wouldn't allow him to fight those guys. Errol Spence is not in that category. Errol Spence has fought a Chris Algieri, right? Um, broken Kell Brook. I mean, damn, I mean, who, who else did he fight? You know, like, Errol Spence is a dude that I think arrogance is taking over, honestly. I, I really do think he's taking over. I think that he's smelling himself. He's listening to his coach. He's believing that shit. He thinks that he brought in all, he thought, he believes he brought in 47,000 people to Texas Stadium. <laughs> you know, when he didn't realize the person that brought those people in was Mikey Garcia because they knew who he was. See, Mexican fans, they support their fighters. However, Errol Spence fans don't, okay? But they don't know who you are, first of all. People supported Mayweather, right? But he's not a fucking Mayweather. He was never a pretty boy. There is not a time when Errol Spence, he talked about fighting people, but he never fought them. In this interview, he talks about Canelo Alvarez. And that's actually the main point of this video was the fact that, oh, he says that at 160, Canelo gets tired, so he has more win than Canelo. Look, fighting somebody like Canelo with Errol Spence is a nightmare. Errol Spence has a perfect style to get knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. He can go up there fucking around with Canelo. It ain't going to be a catch weight. Then he'll surely see his dominance, his A side, or he'll see how much power he has when he tries to go fuck with Canelo talking about, I want a 157 pound catch weight or some silly shit like that, right? It ain't gonna happen. He's gonna fight him at 160 and he's gonna go up there and get blown out. He's gonna get counter punched to death. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like Canelo fighting Angulo. That's what it's gonna be. He's gonna go up there trying, thinking that he can do that same shit with them smaller guys and get his ass whacked. That's going to be the case with Errol Spence. Now, Errol Spence will do exactly what Mikey Garcia did, hopefully. Kell Brook did, hopefully. Right? Because those guys went, instead of challenging their own, their own parallel or someone in their own weight class, they went up in weight thinking that people are going to give them a fucking... Uh, honorary bravery badge or some shit 
to go up there and fight someone that they the, the odds are against them anyway. You know, do some kamikaze like, oh, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna take on this bigger guy, and but I got dudes and people I need to slay here. You know, and they got their ass whooped. You, but you know something? It serves them right. People are trying to be like Pacquiao. People are trying to be like Mayweather, and they need to stop. They need to be like themselves. Start fighting the people in their own weight class, make their own fucking legacy, make their own blueprint for them. Errol Spence is nothing like Floyd Mayweather. Even though he's trying to be arrogant, he's not as fucking cocky. He doesn't have the charisma, honestly. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to fight. I'm going to be like Delahoy and Man Mayweather, really. He doesn't have that like Floyd. Floyd has a personality you naturally want to hate because he's quick, cocky. You know what I mean? He might stutter. You, you know, I said it before. You know, you, you put me in the ring with anybody, I, I won't beat him. But people want to see that because people love to see a certain type of personality. Errol Spence don't got that. That dude got a personality like a damn, uh, like a late bloomer. He don't, he, he's like, he's too, like, he, he looks like a guy, he, he reminds me of a person that drinks a lot. That's, well, no, you know what? He looks like a stoner. He's just too laid back. Consuelo. He just, he's just too, like, he, He's just too laid back, like, like, dude, you, you get high on your, your off the your off days because he's seeing, you know, his face getting fatter. So, like, dude, you really are you a welterweight still? You know, so, but him going to Canelo talking about, oh, man, Canelo. And then it just hit me. He's talking about fighting Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez is fighting his next fight at 175 fucking pounds. That's light heavyweight, people. That's two weight classes past middleweight. But he's talking about Canelo, of all people. Look, let me tell you something. That is nothing more than another roadblock in the way of Terrence Crawford. After he just said, oh, it won't be four or five years like Pacquiao, yeah. And his trainer, oh, no, he ain't no big star. He don't bring in a month, month money. You know what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck does Sean Porter bring in? You know what I mean? Like, and besides Mikey Garcia, who did who did Errol Spence fight before uh, Mikey Garcia? Was it Ocampo? Who the fuck was Ocampo? You know what I mean? Who was Chris Ocampo, really? Who was he? An undefeated fighter. They pulled a Tyson Fury card. Find a guy, ain't been beat, throw him in the ring with me. He ain't fought nobody, cool. Throw him in the ring with me. Right? Who was before that? Lamont Peterson? I mean, come on, man. You, these dudes don't sell shit like that. These dudes, Chris Ocampo, uh, Lamont Peterson, none of these motherfuckers have uh, filled their own seats. Terrence Bud Crawford has. And in fact, I stand corrected. Terrence Bud Crawford has been in three pay-per-view events. But you're saying, oh, he don't bring in the numbers. He, he, he don't bring in it. Dude, you done one fucking pay-per-view. His fighter has done one pay-per-view event. And was that successful? No, it wasn't. Okay? Get four or five hundred thousand, four or five hundred pay-per-view, thousand pay-per-view buys. He gets 360. Eh. But he, he needed Mikey Garcia, a dude that's already established, a dude people want to see, an undefeated fighter from a lower weight class. Yeah, bring him up. Where's your fucking integrity? Why would you want to fight a dude that small? Because he should have known. If, look, Errol Spence is not traveling towards or uh, on the path of greatness. And I'm going to tell you how. You don't do things like that, right, if you want to be great. You remember Lomachenko said about Rigondeau after he stopped or made Rigondeau quit? And everybody was like, oh, my God, you beat another gold Olympian. Oh, my God, Lomachenko, you are the shit. Oh, Loma, Loma, man, high tech, the Matrix. How do you do it? How would you do that to Regendau? He's never been defeated. You know what Loma told them? I don't look at this uh, win as a big victory because he's not in my division. Okay? That's a sign of a great fighter. That's a fighter that wants to be great and understands his victory. Not trying to, oh, use this dude's 
uh, notoriety, the smaller dude, to make myself look bigger than I know I ain't. You see what I'm saying? So, anyway, Canelo, Spence, Canelo beats Spence 10 times out of 10, unless Canelo starts getting injured or something like that. But this guy, no. He's not, he's not going to beat anyone. And we have to see what he does with Porter. I would love for him to get beat at this point. I would just be honest with you. Because, I mean, what he's doing, I don't respect. Right? And then he's trying to be cocky, but he's not even doing a fucking good job at doing that. <laughs> but anyway, that's my counterpunch on that, on this interview. Of course, I'll leave the link below. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunching. Peace.